Hello Internet World. Today I was going to talk about the Ustream producer. Now this program recently came out. Um, what it really is is, well, it's a producer for Ustream. Uh, they recently released it to the public. There's a free version and a pro version. Uh, I find it very similar. That ha it has the capabilities of Wirecast. If you ever heard of Wirecast, it's a four hundred forty nine dollar program that allows you to do picture in picture effects and side by side video conferencing and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, screencasting, add media, everything, and live stream it to pretty much any website. Now the producer only works with Ustream, obviously, but uh, I find it very simple and very nice. So I'm going to play you this video. In Ustream Producer, a full studio control room in one intuitive package. Ustream Producer is an application that gives you complete control over your live broadcasts. With Producer, it's easy to mix multimedia content with your live stream. Switch between live cameras, recorded video, still images, and add sound. Share your desktop to showcase websites and applications. It's all viewable on PCs, Macs, and mobile devices, and available to the millions of Ustream viewers. Producer makes it easy to manage your broadcast, so you can focus on what's important, creating content, and engaging your audience. Ustream, the leader in live interactive broadcasting. So yeah, that's Ustream Producer. Um, it's, it's, it, I like it. It's very simple, uh, easy to use. So, there's a free version and the pro version. I'm using the free version because I'm not going to pay $200 for the pro version. Um, really the difference is of the free version and the, uh, pro version, uh, the free version supports one camera where the pro version supports as many cameras as you want. Uh, you can import movies, audio, uh, you have only three transitions in the free version, but in the pro version you have lots. They both have picture-in-picture, -picture, both screen capture. Um, they, uh, the free version only has standard definition bit rates, but the uh, pro version has HD as well. So... Yeah, there's not really much else besides the pro version allows customizable picture in picture and the ability to save in the same bit stream. Well, uh, the Ustream producer, I like it. Again, it's a very nice interface. I'll show you it right here. So that's the Ustream producer. Uh, very simple. The one of the first things you notice, of course is how simple and intuitive it really is. All you really have on the top is menu, menu bar, file, edit, broadcast, window, upgrade, and help. There's really nothing there, honestly. Uh, you, can, you can update uh, what you're broadcasting. Just type it in, press update. If you want to update it to Twitter, Facebook, AIM, and MySpace as well, you just click the button and it'll update there. So you can open up your social stream, your chat settings, or I mean your chat and your settings from the top bar here. Um, the only settings that they offer are the encoding preset. So I got standard SD quality, 4x3, all the way up to like best SD quality, 16x9. You can go lower too. But this doesn't work for me. Every, every time I've tried to change it, like it won't work like the camera goes all black and it won't change itself so I don't know I have to restart the whole program if I try to change the encoding preset so I haven't really messed with that it took me about 30 minutes to figure out everything in the Ustream producer but once I did it's really easy to, to get around stuff uh, you can just click add live input add live uh, add live input uh, add media, you can add video, images, music, and you can put those uh, on your stream or do a picture in picture effect. Um, so if I wanted to have this video up right here, um, and I wanted to have it beside 
this picture, then I could have it like that. So yeah, it's pretty extremely simple. You have three transitions, smooth, cross, dissolve, and cut, but they're pretty much all the same except for cut, which just cuts to the next scene, of course. There's a screen casting feature, which I also cannot get to work. When I try to open it, it says desktop presenter will be unable to accept incoming connections. Please edit your firewall settings. The thing about that is I did edit my firewall settings on both Windows Firewall and McAfee, and it still doesn't work. So hopefully they can fix that. Um, there's not really much else here. Again, it's very simple. Uh, one thing is the you can hear your input by default, which is very annoying because I was getting so much feedback and it just kept multiplying. So that wasn't very good. But it does have uh, two buttons to enable that and then master mute. Your volume slider is right here, very simple again. Uh, when you do videos, uh, at the end of the video it will repeat the video or if you go to something else while you're in the middle of a video and then you go back to that particular video then the video will uh, go back to where you left off so it won't restart the video it will go back to where you left off which in some cases that can be annoying some cases that's a good thing but I wish there was an option to totally restart the video because there's not. Uh, there's only two buttons down at the bottom. You can change what you're broadcasting to just with one click. Uh, you got one button for broadcasting and one button for recording. And really that's it. That's the Ustream producer. It's very simple. I definitely like it. I used it all day long la uh, yesterday to stream. So I found it very nice, very nice interface easy to use buggy but again this is 1.0 they'll probably release a uh, uh, update for it and it'll probably work a lot better so yeah this is the Ustream producer at times I find myself saying presenter I don't even know why but that's just me uh, so yeah that's the Ustream producer I found it very nice uh, I'd recommend getting it if you really want picture in picture effects for free and stuff like that uh, play media on your stream. It was really awesome. So yeah, that's the Ustream producer. Techno Guy 3. Thanks for watching.